Hey, what's up you guys? So we're just sit, sitting here working on the men's dorm. Just kicking back. So, um, excuse me, it's kind of windy. So we're working and before we started working, um, my heart kind of got in the way a little bit here. Um, I saw a dog and it's gonna be kind of weird for to say this or to admit this but I saw this dog that was dead and I was like I gotta bury this dog man I can't just leave this dog out here so I started digging a hole and I'm pretty sure everybody was like weirded out by it but I, I buried this dog and the reason why I did it because I was like whether it's an animal or not I feel like you know I I wouldn't want people to just leave me any kind of way. I don't know. I kind of had a weird moment. Y'all forgive me. But anyways, I thought it was kind of very sad because as I was burying this dog, the dog that's normally with this dog, like all the time, uh, I guess the owners are like out of town or something. That dog was like uh, watching the whole process, like grieving. It was kind of sad, you know, like that was his homeboy. So to say all that to say this, you guys, we truly are better together. You know what I mean? Like we need, we should uh, practice like loving people on purpose, uh, doing kind things on purpose. Like it's important. You know what I mean? I mean, these dogs were always around each other and the other one was saddened by it. Just like we get saddened by people who are no longer with us. I think it's crazy, but I got a revelation off of the interaction with these animals. If I lost somebody who was close to me, I, I wouldn't know how to feel. I'm just being honest, if I could be honest. I wouldn't know how to feel. You know, my brothers, my sisters, my mom are like my world. Uh, my nieces and nephews, they're like my world. I, I mean, I miss them. Doing ministry, I miss them so much. You know what I mean? Like, because there's times I can't always be around them. But uh, I feel like this is possibly the best gift I could ever give my family is them just being at peace, knowing that I'm not being reckless no more. Knowing that, you know, I'm out there chasing people down, wanting to pray for folks and just being about our father's business. Like, that's the biggest blessing in all of this. I know if I was to leave this this earth, this physical earth tonight, I could honestly say that I would be okay with the way I've, I've gone out of the equation because I've turned my life around. I've given my life to Christ and I've been useful and of service to the master. And my family knows that my heart was in the right place. Like I abandoned all my sinful ways and just started living right. I would be happy for that. You know what I mean? And uh, I was reading some people's posts. Some of them were about death and whatnot. And I'm just like this. You know what I mean? We all got to go. It's, a, it's appointed unto man to leave this earth. We all got to go. But say you don't believe in God. That you don't believe in Jesus. It's like, okay... I can understand that, maybe. I can have a level of understanding, but I'm like this. As for me and my house, we're gonna serve the Lord. But check this out for you non-believers. Say you don't believe in God, right? So you're just gonna live any type of way? The devil is a lie. I'm like this. There's two ways that uh, this could turn out. One. Okay, so I, I live a life and I give my life to Christ and I'm living right. At least when I leave, I'll be satisfied by the way I'm living. But if I live the other way and just be reckless, there's no satisfaction in that. I'd rather serve a true and living king. You know what I mean? And I do serve a true and living king. But I say that to say this because there are some naysayers. There are people who actually think... That God is not real. That everything's just scientific or whatever. <laughs> Forgive my vernacular. But I believe in God. I'm sorry. And as for me and my house, they got, they got faith and proof that there is a true and living God. I have survived two wrecks. I have survived many more other occasions where I should have been taken out. 
you know, I put myself in some very harmful situations, but I'm still here. And that is why I believe in a true and living God. It's by no mistake that I'm still here. But I just, I'm saying all this, guys, because I want to encourage y'all to treat the people that are around you kindly on purpose. We all got to go at some point. And yeah, this experience with these dogs got me thinking this. But that just shows you how much of a nerd I am. You know what I mean? But anyways, I'm going to post this video. Hopefully, y'all understand what I'm saying. You know what I mean? But also, more importantly, I want y'all to, uh, to know that there is a God. And God is able. And I am proof that God is able. I am proof that he is able and that he's a, he's the real deal, holy field, even better, you guys, because I'm still here after two plus more situations that should have taken me out of the equation. He has a need for me and apparently I'm of, I'm of service to his people and I have a gift, apparently. So I boast in the Lord and I thank him for, you know, rate rescuing me and and for his grace and his mercy which are new every day watch this video subscribe to my uh youtube channel give me some suggestions on whatever kind of feedback you have just inbox me all right seraphim 6169 that's my email but go check out the channel it's wasabi epicardus y'all be blessed and remember this you guys um, his word says, come to me, all you who are heavy burden and laden, I will give you rest. Bring all your issues to him and he'll swap it out with his comfort, his peace and his security. Oh, I can't get no help in here. Adios, you guys. I got to get back to work. Y'all have a blessed day.